<clears throat> Hello everybody, Hockey Guy here again for OutstandingPoker.com. Back with the third uh, video at uh, $25 no limit in the uh, ABC Poker Series. And uh, just going to jump right here to the tables here. And once again, just uh, going to try to focus on uh, using what we think are advantages over the, uh, the opponents here, which is uh, knowing the importance of position selecting uh, proper hand strength uh, values um, and recognizing uh, you know how those are going to change depending on position and the opponent you're against uh, being aggressive raising not limping and uh, just taking some time on each decision to make sure we're we're taking a little bit of time to think about what we're doing and make sure we try to make the best decision we can on each particular hand so um, <clears throat> we see a couple of the uh, same same characters as we saw in the last video here, Idaho Bob and uh, a pay my rake guy and uh, I'll see if I see any of the others. This, this video was uh, made shortly after the other one after uh, a brief break for lunch and uh, I'll try to keep this one to an hour. The last one rambled on a little bit and uh, my apologies for, for that. Uh, I think hours is probably a pretty good length, and the last one got a little long there. Uh, kind of lost track of what time I started after some phone calls and whatnot. But anyhow, we'll keep this to about an hour, and and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some more action in this one than we did in the uh, last one. It was <clears throat> a little bit slow moving card wise, and so uh, hopefully, we'll dealer will smile on us a little here. Um, <clears throat> I think this is perfectly fine to, to limp here with uh, King Eight suited. Um, and uh, we're getting very good odds there. We are out of position, but we'll uh, just wait and see what happens here. Um, we'll just check this. We don't really have anything going on against four opponents there. Uh, here, we've got the jack. We're going to just, we're not slow playing. Um, if he has an ace, he's probably calling. If he's got a draw, he's calling. Um, now, if he's got, <clears throat> notice now he can't get off of his ace. Um, we're just folding there, and and by raising there, quad seems very unlikely. We're just we're not we're just going to try to string it along here a little bit, and uh, I don't I don't expect. Uh, do we go for the glory here and just shove? Can he get off of his hand? Um. I probably don't do this enough, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm just going to shove and hopefully get a call. Come on, baby. I mean, I can pretty clearly get a call for five bucks there, I think. And unfortunately, <clears throat> it just depends on the player. Sometimes they're going to call there. And, okay, so he thinks I had it. And I'll lie to him. So he did have an ace there. Obviously, I can get a call. Um, <clears throat> those are those are situations that that are. It, it's hard to know where you're going to get the most value, but at the end of the day, you just want to uh, try to make the best decision you can there. Because obviously, I can I can get a box, but I think there's enough players at this level, and I don't really have a read on him. Um, but I think there's enough players at this level that that would pay off, and you can get 25 bucks from them. So you know, um, if I can get one at, you know, one and a half out of five guys to call the whole stack, then I come out ahead as compared to getting um, five guys to call for five bucks. So you know, it, it's hard to know, but you know, do I think I can get you know one out of one and a half out of five is you know what is that 30 percent or something like that 20. Uh, 20, uh, 25 percent. I don't know. 